So we are interviewing Jason Thatcher, uh, president-elect of the AIS, Association for Information Systems. Hi, Jason. How are you today? Great. How are you, Randy? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, so uh, got you in here today. Got you off the beach. Are you enjoying Hicks 49? This is what you look like after three days of Hicks 49. Yes, it's been fantastic. That's what we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you've been an attendee for Hicks for many years. Yes. And, and what keeps you coming back? Hicks is the only place that I come to where, where I find my, my discipline, information systems, computer science, electrical engineer, and systems thinking integrated. So it's a really great place that where I, when I go to, to my information systems conferences, I get one world view. Where I come here, I get a lot of world views. So it's a great place for an, an AIS or an IS person to come and actually see what other people are thinking are about, and then they can weave it back into their own work. Great, great. And as you mentioned, uh, this is also a place where AIS and IEEE can meet together. Yeah, yeah this is a really interesting interesting place because you see a lot of, of leaders in AIS, senior editors of our top journals, senior editors of journals like MIS Quarterly and Information Systems Research, all hanging around talking to people from, from that, that publish in IEEE software, uh, attending the same panels in cybersecurity, data science, visualization, as the people doing the core research in data science and, and viz. So it's really, a, it's, a, it's a neat opportunity for AIS members to be here. Great, yeah. Yeah, what I found here is that the, especially the senior scholars and the people on AIS, they're, they're much more laid back here and accessible and willing to yeah, talk here, about Yeah, well, it's because there's fewer people, right? So yeah. if you come to Hicks, you actually, you're, you're part of, instead of 1,200 AIS people, there's 150 AIS people, and they're just as happy to sit at the pool and talk to you as they are happy to sit at a social function and talk to you, or if you're attending their pre-conference workshop, talk to you there. So, mm -hmm. so it's really, a, it's, it's IS, but it's a smaller community, which is a lot of fun. Awesome, awesome. So you are president-elect of AIS. Yes, I am. So you, July first, you start that. Mm -hmm. So, um, what are your plans? Do you are you uh, able to envision <laughs> or to what unravel are my plans? Um, so, so one of the things that we're working on is is defining AIS as an as association for of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math faculty, mm -hmm. and and this conference fits nicely into that because it's a STEM-based conference, which is one reason I'd like to see more of our members come here to get a feel for what that means. Um, another thing that we're, we're really interested in doing this next year is we're introducing a new executive director. So we're, we're, try, we're socializing him to the field and that takes some time and effort because we want him to be a steward for the field. Um, and you know, things, things like that and, and people are throwing great conferences of, of our own like AMSIS and ISIS and CAXIS and ESIS. Okay. Um, so I guess this is a good point. To, so <laughs> you, you were mentioning that AIS, let's transition from AIS. So sure. you um, have done a lot of great work at Clemson mm -hmm. and, and have become really established in the field, ma mainly through, well, I'll say mainly through uh, setting up the Social Analytics Institute at Clemson. Sure. And can you talk a little bit about sure. that? Sure. So the Social Analytics Institute is, is an interdisciplinary institute that brings together computer science, behavioral science, and business disciplines to think about how we can create va business value from, from processing, analyzing, and thinking about data extracted from Twitter, Facebook, and other social media feeds. So, so the interesting thing for me about, about this conference in, in terms of that intersection is I can come here and I can take a class on Tableau. I can take a class on social network analysis, or not a class, but attend a workshop or a training session, mm -hmm. a, a workshop on social network analysis and, and before the conference, and then go see them applied in the sessions. And from, from the point of view of my analytics institute, this is incredibly valuable. I've actually brought with me last year, I brought computer scientists that did this for the first time, and they were like, wow, this is really different than our conferences. And I asked them, like, why? And, and, and this person's not a tenure track faculty member at Purdue. She said, well, you guys actually talk to each other. And at computer science con conferences, it's one-way communication. At Hicks, it's, it's a rich dialogue throughout the entire mini-track with people attending each other's papers and talking. So for my institute, this is pretty valuable. So I bring staff and I bring faculty to do it. Right. I've always I, I've always found that when you present here, you get some valuable feedback from the audience. Whereas at other conferences, sometimes it's shut down or at least a little. Yeah, it's it's more intimidating. Yeah. I think it's because this is such an established conference that you have, and you have these people that have come year and year year in and year out, and the mini tracks are run often by the same people year in and year out. So they have a value system associated with it of having that conversation, and that that honestly, the first time I came to Hicks, that threw me. Because at other conferences I've attended, 
not just computer science, but other ones, it's, it's really one way. And here it's like someone will sit in the back and go, well, why did you do that? And they're not saying it in a mean way. They're saying that because they don't understand. And then it turns into a conversation about how to improve your work. Right, right. So, so Hicks, is, Hicks is great that way. Great, great. So one of the things that I'm passionate about um, is diversity. And mm -hmm. you, you, just like Alan Lee, who Misa interviewed the other day, uh, is, uh, are part of the KGMB PhD project. Mm -hmm. And so how did you get involved in that? And so so I'm a, I've been a member of the KGMB PhD project since I was a doctoral student. My, my family's Hispanic. And uh, and so we become a member that way, and you and I've spent the next oh gosh, it's been fifteen plus years now, um, either as a student or as a faculty advisor, and meeting with people and talking to them mm -hmm. about the benefits of being a faculty member and how it's a great career, mm -hmm. and, and giving advice on how to, to survive your doctoral program so you get to that career. So Have you been able to help people that are facing this? So, so so my my yeah, the PhD project is great because it gives mm -hmm. people a place where. Where they can come express their opinions, have have a safe it's a safe place to come mm -hmm. and talk and talk about the issues and challenges you face as a doctoral student, irrespective of, of age, race, gender, or, or whatnot. And, and there are some unique challenges for people people who are, are, are minorities in, in the disciplines, where you know they they people look at you differently sometimes or talk to you differently. Mm -hmm. And getting advice on how to navigate that social context is invaluable. And Alan Lee was a tremendous mentor to me as a student, and mm -hmm. and I hope to pass that kind of information along to others. You see a lot of PhD project students here, mm -hmm. you know, more, more than you do at a lot of other conferences, actually, um, as doctoral students or as faculty participants. Great, great. Jason, every year I hear I see you here with your daughter Livy. Yeah, and uh, yeah. and and so so tell me. Yeah, more about Livy that. is a Hicks regular. She likes it more than I do, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a neat thing because she started coming here as a small child with her and my mother. And the community was really embracing. And like my mom goes, when she didn't come, this is the first year she hasn't come. And she's like, oh, so how are all my friends at Hicks? And the first question I get from a lot of people is, where's your mom? Right? And they all know my, and, and the faculty actually know my daughter. And it's really a great experience for her because I go to my meetings. I don't have to worry about her. If they're hanging out at the pool, people actually talk to her because they've seen her for three or four or five years. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful family event. And it's and it's and it's relatively easy. I mean, the, the, the hotels it's held in are family friendly, which is not true of all conferences. You can find childcare, which for me is invaluable as a as a single parent. And I can go check her into a place and leave her for nine hours, and I come back and she doesn't want to leave. You know, I can't say that at almost any of even my professional conferences. I can't say that. And so for me, like that's one of the best things about Hicks is I can come here and not worry about all of that. My family is having a fantastic.